Hi guys! I just wanted to take a moment and make a quick video about the IXL diagnostic because hopefully you noticed that that assignment popped up on your newsletter for this week as well as within the OMHS IXL assignments. So just as a quick reminder, make sure when you're logging in to IXL that you are using the Florida Online site. And therefore, when you log in, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. So that'll help confirm that you're on the right site. Otherwise, your username and your password won't work. Another quick reminder, once you sign in, look into the top right and make sure that you actually see your name and that you didn't sign in as a sibling or accidentally sign in as someone that has a similar name as you. Because it would be really unfortunate to do all that work under somebody else's account. So just always double check when you sign in that it's your information in the top right, okay? All right, once you guys log into IXL, your screen's gonna look something like this. So let's just quickly go over what all of this means because it may look a little different than it did at the beginning of the year before you had started working on that diagnostic. So this home page here, that is has a blue background with a whole bunch of white boxes on it. These are all recommendations that come up as a result of the diagnostic. So when you have heard teachers say or you have heard your parents say that you're to be spending 20 minutes a day in IXL, what they mean is on these recommended skills, okay? So the breakdown is 20 minutes a week in diagnostic, so that way we can update your scores. And then 20 minutes a day working on these recommendations that are automatically given from IXL. So that way you can learn the things that you don't remember or haven't learned yet. But then on top of all of that is your regular work. So up here, what's highlighted in purple, these suggestions from your teacher, those are your IXL assignments. That is completely separate. So I know some teachers, specifically math, instead of us giving you quizzes within OMHS where you get three chances and you're done, we have you do your graded assignments in IXL because it allows you to keep working until you understand it. It gives you examples if you're not sure what to do. So these up here starred suggestions from your teacher. These are the things that your teachers and all of your classes have assigned and therefore is most likely the graded work. So hopefully that kind of clears up this home page here and what the different requirements are for IXL because there's really three pieces, the diagnostic, the recommendations from that diagnostic, and then the starred assignments that are graded. Now let's dive into the diagnostic itself. So when you select that diagnostic tab up at the top right here, your screen will look something like this. So if you guys have been following your newsletter and working on the diagnostic arena for 15 to 20 minutes for the past couple weeks, you probably have a screen that's similar where you have different bubbles here, you kind of have an overall math level. However, even though the diagnostic never ends, you do get to a point where it gives you a specific score. So you have completed all six categories and you should have all six stars. So if you look right now, this person has been working on the IXL diagnostic, but there's only one area where we've realized, okay, this is exactly where you're at. This is the stuff you know and what you don't know. All six of these little colors should have stars on them. That means it knows where you're at and the diagnostic is somewhat completed because we at least have a score. So if that's your goal for this week, is you've been slowly working on the diagnostic, but now we need to get a score. So you need to work on that diagnostic until you have all six stars in math. And then for ELA, there are a total of four stars for you to receive. So let's say you go into your IXL and it looks something like this, where you have a couple stars, but not all six. 
you then need to step in that arena so you can keep working. But before we get into that, let's just kind of go over the stars some more. So if you look on the left here in red, this is what it looks like if you've begun the diagnostic, but you don't have enough time for us to really level you. See how big that gap is? 640 to 850. So this person's worked, but they haven't earned any stars. Now on the right here, what you see circled in purple, this person has worked on it enough that they have been given a specific number level. And see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six stars. And the reason this is important is that can then recommend those skills on that front page. So it can recommend the things that you need to work on to help make your math class easier. Because as we all know, math builds on itself. So if there is stuff from elementary school or stuff from sixth and seventh grade that you don't remember, it's good to refresh your memory in IXL because then it'll make the eighth grade pre-algebra math easier. So up here at the top is how it's going to be graded. So in the grade book, you are going to earn one point for every star. Therefore, when you get all six stars, you get 100%. We, um, as a school, want for you guys to all have all six stars in math, all four stars in ELA done by next week. So for math, remember the day that your assignments are always due is on Tuesdays. Now here's what I'm gonna say with that. Let's say that you work really hard and you get four stars by next Tuesday. You'll get four points, but that doesn't mean I want you to stop. I want you to keep going. And then once you earn those final two stars, I will go back and add two more points in the grade book, okay? All right, last but not least, once you go into that arena, if you look up here in red, oh, let me move my camera, since that covers up the words. Once you step into that arena, remember you can choose whether you wanna see your math and language arts together or whether you wanna see them separately. So let's say you look at your homepage and you have all four stars for language arts, but you only have three stars for math. Then I would select the math only and focus just on math so you can finish getting those stars. But maybe you don't have all of your stars in both subjects. Then it's up to you. You can either see them mixed because you need to keep working in both, or maybe you want to spend time finishing the math one first and then finish the language arts. It's up to you. Just remember if you click this little button right here, that's where you get to choose whether you see things together or separately. All right, and last but not least, at the very bottom here in purple, one thing to help you guys out is maybe you've worked on the diagnostic a ton, and you're like, why don't I have all my stars yet? Well, it could be because you keep selecting, I haven't learned this yet. If you select that, that's neutral. So it will postpone you getting those stars. It'll postpone your score. So therefore, instead, Go ahead and try your best because it's okay if you get a question wrong. That's what the diagnostic needs. It needs you to get questions right and wrong so it can figure out what you know and what you don't know. So instead, just focus on doing your best, working out the problems, and then if you get it wrong, the system will know you get it wrong and then it will assign you practice so you can learn it, all right? So hopefully this helped um, clarify what you guys saw on your newsletter about the IXL diagnostic. But if you have any other questions, remember I'm always available via email. I answer my email pretty quickly. And then also if you need a little bit more conversation, a little bit more detail, I have those weekly office hours Monday and Thursday from 4 to 4.30. And I'm always happy for you guys to join and ask questions. All right. If you guys need anything, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow at our live sessions. Bye.